بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس فرینڈز اینڈ کولیگس یو نو دیٹ وی آر ان تھیوری آف نمبرس اینڈ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ لینئر ڈائفینٹائن اکویشن لینئر ڈائفینٹائن اکویشن از سمپل اکویشن آف دا فارم اے ایکس پلس بی وائی از ایکل ٹو سی دس سمپل لینئر اکویشن یو کین سی ویری کلیئرلی اے ایکس پلس بی وائی از ایکل ٹو سمپل لینئر اکویشن ان ایکس اینڈ وائی بٹ دا اونلی ریسٹرکشن از دیٹ دس کوفیشنٹ اے this coefficient b and this right hand side c all are considered to be integers so what is the difference between a linear equation and a linear diffentine equation a linear equation can be like any equation with a a b c like a the and b and c they can be any numbers any real numbers so this is simple linear equation but in case of linear diffentine equation we suppose that a b and c are integers so such linear equation is termed as linear diffentine equation and i have you know already told you in the last video that it has a variety of applications so so the coefficients are integers and there is one more exception that uh, this solution x and x and y x and y are taken from integers we are we are only interested in, in, in integer solution so such type of equation is known as linear diffentine equation so all coefficients are integers and solutions are considered to be integers okay so this is called linear diffentine equation we have already studied in the last video now the, the, there are some example if you see 2x plus 4y is equal to 3 this is linear diffentine equation why because coefficients are integers but this equation has no solution in z it has solution in real numbers but it has no solution in z there is another linear diffentine equation 4x plus 5y is equal why this is linear diffentine because the coefficients are integers a linear equation with integer coefficients so this is a linear diffentine equation and luckily it has a solution x y and z uh, i'm sorry this this should be 9 yeah this should be 9 so if clearly if very simply if you put x 1 in place of x and y 1 of course you get 9 so this linear diffentine equation has a solution and this linear diffentine has no solution so it means that we may have equations which have solution and uh, equations which having no solutions so okay now question arises when a linear diffentine equation will have a solution in t in z can we find all solutions of it so this is a really interesting question for mathematicians so its answer is yes and this answer is this theorem gives the answer what it says it says that a linear diffentine equation ax plus by is equal to c has a solution will have a solution if and only if d divides c what is d d is actually the gcd of these two coefficients a and b that is if the gcd of a and b divides the right hand side so then do remember this equation will have a solution for example if you see let let let, let us see for it what is the gcd of 4 and 5 of course their gcd their gcd is of course 1 and 1 we know that 1 can divide 9 the right hand side so that is why this lda has a solution and the other hand the gcd of 2 and 4 their g, the, g, their gcd is 2 but 2 cannot divide the right hand side which is 3 so by that theorem it has no solution now the next question is how if a, an, a, a, if suppose a ld has a solution and we have one of its sol- solution can we use the one solution to find all its solution can we do like this so the theorem again give answer and it says yes you simply you can get all x and y s all solutions by simply ek put one solution over here and use this coefficient use the gcd and use this parameter t what is this parameter t arbitrary you just put a value of t 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 you will get x similarly for y you know one solution why not you know the coefficient you know the gcd of ab and this is arbitrary integer whatever you put t in both you will get all the solutions to understand this theorem and to implement this theorem we consider the following example here we have the one coefficient this is a this is b and the right hand side is c so if you see clearly gcd of 4 and 5 is 
clearly you see day of 4 and 5 is 1 so GC D is equal to 1 and 1 and this 1 can divide the right hand side that is GCD of 4 and 5 is 1 and this one can divide the right hand side so by above theorem so by above theorem equation 1 has a solution this equation has a solution why because GCD of 4 and 5 can divide right hand side that was the condition so so this has a solution now we have one solution of that equation 1 and 1 to find all other solution of that equation by uh, using the above theorem we have the following formula x and y all other solution can be obtained by no solution x naught and y naught and coefficient b and gcdt coefficient a and gcdd and the arbitrary integer t so plugging all these values so when you plug all the values you you we arrived at x can be obtained now you simply put you vary t t is any number uh, arbitrary number whatever you choice 0 1 2 3 4 5 and negative 1 2 3 negative 4 5 6 7 so on so if you put t value in both the equations you will get x and y all the other solution you can obtain so actually this is actually the theme uh, what we have uh, learned in that today's uh, small clip that uh, lde linear daffentine equation uh, has a solution if the gcd of these two, co two coefficient divides the other side the right hand side and uh, we can obtain all the solutions uh, of LDE by this formula. So th th that is actually the theme of today's lecture. Thank you very much.